Today we will be taking a look at the Aladdin Biflex M7. When purchased as a kit, the M7 will come in a compact case that holds the fixture and included accessories. The included 3816 to cold shoe mount was a pleasant surprise, allowing this light to be used as a powerful and relatively soft on-camera light. The ball head stand mount is well built and can be mounted to a compatible rod below or on the side of the mount, adding another level of articulation to the already versatile ball mount. With a long enough rod on your camera, you can favor one side and get suitable contrast on your subject. Pretty exciting stuff. The dimmer is small and robust with no compromise to its features and power. Because of the micro LEDs, the M7 has a maximum power output of 70 watts, which is up to 40% more powerful than a 1x1 flexible light competitor. For a cleaner setup, you have the option to mount the AC power adapter onto the back of the dimmer, making them live as one piece. If battery power is preferred, a V-mount power plate is pre-installed. A gold mount plate is also available. One caveat is that some thicker V-mount batteries can make it difficult to remove, as the eject button may not clear the added thickness. A metal safety handle is embedded to the top of the dimmer. Intensity and color temperature can be easily identified with the readout display. Unlike most LEDs, the M7 can dim all the way down to 1%. The color temperature ranges from 3000 to 6000 Kelvin. Every light that connects to the dimmer is equipped with a locking connector to prevent shortages or any untimely disconnections. An optional DMX adapter is also available. The included softbox does a great job of evening out the light source, preventing multiple shadows that are inherent to LED panels. To install, you must extend the arms of the X-Bend. Next, slide the softbox onto all four arms. For even softer light, Aladdin has a softbox that extends about 4 inches from the fixture. The M7 can be rolled up and used as a space light. Taping or clamping the light to objects is also an option. All of these features mean nothing if the light isn't accurate. Thankfully, this light boasts a 97 CRI or TLCI rating. In this shot, I used the M7 at 5600 Kelvin with softbox shooting through a silk for added softness. For the hair light, I use a P360 at 3200 Kelvin for color contrast. A bounce was used for fill. With its 70 watts of power, flexible and lightweight form factor, ultra compact and feature rich dimmer, I have no reservations in recommending this light to anyone. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you on the next one.